From showbiz to politics, from mayor to governor, from here to where? Only the stars know. In a country where mothers are both respected and loved, it is safe to say that we do not live in a strict patriarchal society. It is easy for Filipinos to accept women leaders. As a woman uh, leader, malaki yung kaibahan niya sa isang uh, lalaki. Ang malaking kaibahan dyan, usually yung mga details ng governance as it pertains to Baba services to uh, the people, like uh, mga drainage, ganyan, sanitation, health, uh, education. Mas madali maintindihan eh, usually ng babae. Siguro dahil nasa public service ako, nasa politika ako, kahit pa paano napag-uusapan namin, at nahingganan siyang uh, magbigay ng public service din. And then one time, uh, there were people from Dipa, my hometown, na kinuusap siya to tumakbo for mayor. I was against it in the beginning, but when she, you know, she, she did pray and uh, I think she got a sign as well, and when she decided to run for public office, and naturally I supported her, and she did very well in, in nine years in, as mayor of Lipa. Governor Vilma Santos Recto is one of the few women who have served in the land of Batangas for a very long time. Although she wasn't born a Batanguena, she was adopted by the community and esteemed by many. But before her rise into politics, she was honest to say that she needed her husband's help most of the time. Alam naman ng lahat, hindi naman ako Batanguenyo. Naging Batanguenyo lang ako nung uh, sabi ni Ralph, siya raw ay pinikot ko. <laughs> sabi niya, sabi ni sabi Ralph, ni Ralph, nung pinikot ko siya, naging Batanguenyo na ako. So, Noong 1998, uh, when I won, uh, being the mayor of Lipa, mahirap. Uh, I, I really had a hard time. Okay, so, una una sabi ko, kailangan mag-aaral. And kaya siya pumasok sa UP School of uh, Public Administration. Yun ang una-una kong advice. Pangalawa, to be very careful with documents that you sign. No? Pangatlo, uh, to understand what, what are the needs of people and what is the role of government. The role of government is basically an enabler to provide opportunities to everyone and to provide a social safety net for the poorest of the poor, basically. No? Bill is very smart. She's got terrific common sense. And that's why she was able to be very good as mayor of Lipa City. She's able to gain the respect um, of, her, of the people, uh, of the people she works with. And number two, she is able to show that passion and uh, uh, be very passion passionate with whatever she is doing. In 2005, the University of the Philippines granted her the Gawad Platadel Award for her achievements both as an actress and a public servant, or Honoris Causa in Humanities by the Lipa City College. She was again honored in 2006 by the University of the Philippines as one of the four awardees in UP's first Diwata Awards. So, tuwing tumatanggap ka ng award, how do you feel? when you receive it as a Filipina. That's just definitely prestige na, as I've said, never in my wildest dreams. If we will talk about being a public servant and then you're getting a model mayor or... Mo yun na yung prestige na may meaning itong ginagawa ko. So hindi ito baliwala. Hindi baliwala yung boto niya sa akin because I'm working on, I'm working on this. Tinatrabaho ko yun ito. So, prestige na yun para sa akin. Yun na yung bayad niya. Yun na yung pinakabayad sa akin. Uh, sa loob ng isang taon o mahigit, uh, masasabi ko at maipagmamalaki ko na ang pamalang panalawigan ay naging matagumpay sa kanyang pangako, sa kanilang layunin na mapaasenso, mapaganda ang uh, pamumuhay ng pangkaraniwan na Batanggenyo. Is there limits to the love that you have for your constituents here in Batangas or the Filipinos in general? What do you mean? Why? What do you mean? Like, how? are you willing to really sacrifice? You know, being be a mayor or a governor, it's already a sacrifice. Uh, ang trabaho namin ay hindi madali. Sacrifice talaga kung Kasi gusto mo. Kasi nila pag public uh, servant madali. Akala nila ganon. No, no uh, hindi madali. Kung talagang sincere ang gusto mo sa serbisyo, hindi talaga madali. Sakripisyo talaga, lalo na sa, sa kaso ko, kasi pinanggalingan ko show business. And let's face it, pag sinabi mo show business, magandang income dyan. Isang itim mo lang, magkano yan. You know, 
things like this. Pero iniiwan mo yan eh, tinatali mo. For, for this uh, uh, being a public servant. Yun lang sakripisyo na. But, you know, one thing, hindi naman lahat mahirap. Kasi may fulfillment din. Hindi mababayaran ng pera ang tiwalang ibinibigay sa akin ng batang ganyan. Today, she still continues to fulfill her duties to the province that we both love the most, Batangas. In many years that we've been doing different interviews, interviewing different people, there are certain stories that will stick in your heart and in your mind that you can bring with you for the rest of your life. And this interview today is something that pwede kong baunin, pwede kong dalin sa puso ko, sa isip ko, for the rest of my life. Um, it's something that, just thinking about it, it makes me emotional, really makes me feel proud that they trust, trusted me and trusted Proud the Filipina. So Ate V, thank you for sharing a piece of your life with us. You're a wonderful, wonderful person. Thank and you. Thank you. Thank you so <laughs> thank much. You. Salamat po. Guesting in Proudly Philippines. Thank, thank you. you. Ate B, can I take a picture with you? Yeah, sure, oh. sure, sure. I'm Governor Vilma Santos Recto, and I'm Proudly Filipina. Thank you for joining me tonight on Proudly Filipina. Now, we encourage you to nominate that one woman who's made a difference in your life. You can email her inspiring story to proudlyfilipina at gmanetwork.com. So join us every Friday as we continue to empower, inspire, and bring up the best in every Filipina. This is Charlene Gonzalez-Mulat.